Alrighty guys, what's up? It's a JRPG Enthusiast, Shadow Elite, and I just came from playing the Hyper Dimension Neptunia Victory 2. And I keep calling it Neptunia, it's Neptune. Anyway, Victory 2 demo. And I gotta say, I was I was genuinely impressed. Gen genuinely impressed. Now this is a rather meaty demo. I can't believe how much content they put into the demo, and I can't wait to play the full game when it releases overseas. Now this is a Hyper Dimension Neptune game, so don't come to it expecting an amazing story with complicated characters or anything that makes a little bit of sense. You came here for the cute Moe girls, the ridiculous story, and the entertaining characters, and pretty much just the gameplay surrounding it. Not to say the story is a complete lost cause, but you don't come here for that. The first thing I noticed when I played this demo is that the game is running at 60 frames per second. I couldn't believe it. I was like, wow, 60 frames per second. Amazing. And I gotta give a clap to Kepa Heart for making this happen. So yeah, good job guys. Love my 60 frames per second. Huge plus for me. The overall graphics seem to have gotten a nice boost thanks to the power of the PS4. Everything looks good and I can honestly say Coming from Kapow Heart, I can fully say that this is indeed a PS4 game. Given the company's previous offerings with lackluster visuals, that's saying something alright. Trust me, it really is. Seriously, the dungeons are bigger, everything's a little bit more detailed, the character models look great and everything, and, and I always have to say that the character designs are always looking really good. Sunako is a really good artist and she just really knows how to nail the cuteness on these characters. And it, it just looks so sharp. I don't know what it is about it, but damn, she knows how to perfect her art in each game. She's always improving her art and damn it, just I, I, I really love it. Now, once again, ever since Hyper Dimension Neptune Mark II, I've always admired the series' music, and man, I can't wait to get the full release of this game because I want to hear everything this game has. The battle system is good, the dungeon themes are pretty awesome, and the boss battle theme was really, really good. I'm going to have to look that up as soon as I'm done here and actually go and listen to that on YouTube somewhere. Really do enjoy the soundtrack. Really nice stuff. Now the battle system is more or less the same if you play the other Neptune games, the main series games. They've been using the same battle system since Mark II and they have worked around it trying to improve it and perfect it and what we have here is the best of what the developers could produce and it's, it's good. Honestly, it's pretty much the same. You have a limited movement area and you could go up to your fullest to attack and use a skill, items, or defend. It's pretty much standard stuff if you played the other main Metoon games, like I said. Some special attacks, the EXE attacks, require a formation to use them, and once you pull them off, they do some really, really incredible damage. The boss battle that was featured in the demo was a bit hard. And it seems that it kind of went with the dynamic boss battle route. You have, you can move the characters around the boss. They can jump over on other rocks and whatnot surrounding the boss and to attack. And you can pretty much just chip away at the boss's life bar. It's pretty cool, I gotta say. Looking at it, it's pretty nice. And how huge the boss is, it's really great. And again, running at 60 frames per second, it ain't never hurt anybody. So guys, that's pretty much just my first impressions of the Hyper Dimension Neptunia, Neptunia, Neptune Victory 2 demo. Um, I can't wait for the game to come out. I don't think it's going to come out in 2015. I do think it's going to be um, a 2016 release, an early 2016 release. I'm going to guess around February or March. But uh, yeah, I can't wait to hear the um, voice actors again reprising their roles, especially Neptune. Oh man, Neptune's English voice actor is really really good so I can't wait to hear that and just to play the full game and hear all the music play the game in its entirety and that's pretty much it I will catch you guys next time peace